Hi all, Mass from Kaiser Power Electronics. This is a uh, power supply upgrade for the Anat A8 3D um, printer. Uh, now the um, power supply that came with the printer itself is kind of uh, cheap and uh, yeah, that's just on the brink of not being powerful enough. So you can't get, get in situations where it simply just cut out uh, because it uses too much power and the overcurrent protection kicks in. So uh, instead I want to use a Hewlett Packard DPS 750RB um, server power supply. Now this is uh, one of the simplest uh, to uh, get to run uh, standalone, uh, as this can simply um, have pin 33 and the short pin 36 shorted, and then it will start up. Then I will mount uh, two small um, PCB uh, connector headers to each uh, rail, so I have uh, three connections for the uh, 3D printer's uh, different um, yeah, uses of the 12 volt uh, power supply. Uh, and instead of just shorting out the, um, the two uh, signal paths here to start it up, I'll uh, add a small switch so I can turn it on and off with this instead of yeah, unplugging the cable or turning, on, turning it on and off on the wall. So let's get this put together and we'll have a new power supply for the 3D printer. The two uh, terminal blocks have now been soldered to the uh, positive and negative uh, output rail. I have the on off switch here and I have a mains cable connected. Now there is the green LED for uh, switching on uh, that the power supply is on sitting over here. Um, we can't really see that. Maybe if we try to give it a little mirror here. But uh, let's uh, try to switch it on. And we can maybe see the little green LED. Let's see, at least we got the 12.3 volt DC. Now, if you have um, some kind of other uh, server power supply, uh, you can find a lot of schematics uh, online on how to uh, make these run. But what you see common uh, for them is that many of them use a 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. And you have to understand the reason for this, because as you can see here, I can just short it out and make it run. But the, the resistor is used when you do not know the pinout and you want to make it run. You do not want to have a 60 amp plus power supply shorted out because you sit and poke around with a shorted wire. So that's why people use a 1 kilo ohm plus resistor uh, to find out how to short out the pins in order to make it run. So if you do short circuit something, yeah, wrong. You do not have a high short circuit current, but some 10 to 20 milliamps. Um, also, some power supplies do have a current uh, sense feedback, and the resistors are used to simulate that. So make sure what model you have and make the short, um, short uh, circuits or bridges or resistors, as you can find others has, has tried out, or yeah, try your own way with a one to two kilo ohm resistor. So um, next video will be testing this out on the 3D printer.